Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about fungus, how to get it, what it does, and how to save its consumption. Fungus is this resource up here, this mushroom shaped um, resource. Um, uh, and it is produced from two sources. The first one is your native fungi. This gives you a passive uh, production of your fungus um, uh, every hour. The second source is your leaf cutter. What you do is you use your builder ant to supply leaf plant, mat plant matter to the leaf cutter. It gets topped up and then you get um, the leaf cutter converting the plant into fungus. You can get more by making use of rapid production um, as usual. If you are a paying player, um, if you go to the benefits and you can go to the light contract, uh, if you sign the light contract during the period when your light contract is on, um, uh, you, you will be able to uh, place this building called the Supreme Native Fungi and this will produce more uh, passive fungus um, constantly for you. What the fungus does is that it keeps the buildings activated. Your resources buildings need fungus in order to be active. For example, honeydew is produced in the aphid. If you click on the honeydew at the top, you can see its efficiency. Right now it's at 100% and it's dependent on fungus supply and ant population. For other resources, you can see they are basically dependent on having enough fungus uh, pro uh, supply um, to the uh, resources buildings in order to be productive. If you run out of fungus, then your buildings um, uh, reduce, uh, produce at reduced efficiency. The thing about um, buildings needing fungus um, and using up the fungus as it's produced is that um, uh, not only do the resources buildings consume fungus, but also other buildings, um, including your military buildings, um, uh, your evolution fungi, your cocoons, your springs, your insect buildings, your special end buildings. Everything um, needs fungus, um, will consume fungus if it's connected to the queen. All right. Currently, with all my buildings connected, less the builder ends, uh, my consumption here is 183.4 thousand per hour. However, um, uh, the buildings that actually really need to be constantly on are just your resource buildings and your depots. So the depots are, are up here. What you can do, or, like, or rather what I have done, is that I have placed all of my military buildings, troop camp, the barracks, uh, the rally centers, the ladybug habitat, the termite farm, all the special end buildings, alliance center, entrance, cocoons, springs. I've placed them all on one single tunnel, drawing from the back here all the way up here and with a single entrance over here right um, uh, and because they will function regardless of whether they are connected to the queen or not when I'm not 
actively clicking speed ups on my troop camp or when I don't need to when I'm not um, clicking on the supply uh, transport resource to the feeding ground um, uh, 90% of the time of the day I just pick up a piece of the tunnel here move it over sideways and I have all of those buildings all at once with one tile change they are now all completely disconnected from the queen and with that disconnection the consumption of my fungus uh, has basically halved so by doing this I have less con less fungus used. Uh, it means that I will need to burn less um, uh, plant in my leaf cutters. Um, uh, that that leaves me with more plant to do other things like trade on the ladybug, or to spend on uh, uh, troops or building upgrades. One more source of fungus is actually the ladybug habitat. Um, uh, you can actually trade for fungus on the ladybug habitat or you can trade away fungus uh, on the ladybug habitat. I've done my trades already today so unfortunately I can't show you. If you are a herder, sometimes you can get uh, resources, you can buy resources with diamonds on the herder building, herder resource tunnel. So yeah, um, uh, it takes a while to shuffle and move all your buildings around and build them in a way such that uh, you have your resources and your depots and your aphids and your worker nests um, all connected to the queen constantly but um, have um, uh, all the military buildings all clustered together and all on one single tunnel that just um, has one opening only and then with that one opening you get to control and turn your fungus use on and off just like that um, uh, it by keeping the buildings offline, um, I reduce their consumption of fungus, but it does not affect their function. So you can see here my builder and habitats are offline, but my worker ants are still building. I have one healing pool that I keep constantly online. So if uh, I have troops to heal, I will just click and heal up from here. Um, uh, but you can see your healing pool capacity does not change even when everything is offline. So you can see the healing pool capacity uh, on your own end heal over here. I have uh, 190,000. Um, uh, healing pool capacity with it joined up the healing pool capacity is exactly the same um, uh, the troops where they are training if I disconnect the if I can disconnect the tunnel the troop training still continues as per normal for evolution, um, uh, the evolution still continue to get researched. The timer still continues going up. You can even do all your speed ups as necessary. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah, your March units, you can still toggle your March units around. Um, uh, even with all the rally centers um, uh, disconnected from the um, queen. Alright, so this is how I 
safe fungus and uh, you can do it too uh, you don't need to be burning off a lot a lot of your your plant just to get a fungus uh, you can buy the fungus of your ladybug when you don't have enough um, and you don't need to be burning off so much fungus on all these buildings that uh, don't need to be constantly online right thank you very much for watching and then uh, have a good day Bye-bye.